The president is expected to tell Congress probably tomorrow that he approves releasing a memo about the FBI's investigation into possible Russian collusion. The purpose is transparency. Remember, this is a legislative process. They've initiated it. We're only following through. The memo alleges misconduct by the FBI in its probe. The Justice Department and Democrats are lobbying President Trump to stop the release, saying it could harm national security and mislead the public. We're now joined by Hans von Spakovsky, a senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation, and he previously worked as a lawyer at the Justice Department. Hans, welcome back. So what could be in this classified memo, that, and why is it such a big deal that some people would not want it released? Uh, in order to get an electronic surveillance uh, warrant from the FISA court, uh, the FBI and the Justice Department have to swear under oath in the submission that there are facts and circumstances indicating that the person they want to target is the agent of a foreign power. If, in fact, they were relying on the, the uh, Trump dossier, in other words, relying on, on opposition research that had not been verified, had not been confirmed by the FBI, then in essence they misled the court, potentially lied to the court, and if so, then the warrant that was issued was invalid. The FBI says it has grave concerns about the accuracy of the classified memo, and the Justice Department said it would be extraordinarily reckless to release it. Are their concerns justified? Uh, I don't think so, because remember, uh, the, the, one of the people that has said this should be released is, of course, Jack Kelly, Marine Corps general, someone who understands very well how important it is to uh, protect our uh, national security means. And if he thinks there isn't anything in it that's going to compromise our national security, uh, I, I trust him that, in fact, it ought to be released. On Monday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said poll after poll shows no one really cares in too much detail about the Russia probe and in the sense of how it's affecting, uh, you know, irregular Americans. Right. How do you think the release of a memo would affect Americans, if at all? Uh, I think if they see that the FBI and Justice Department lawyers abused their authority to engage in a partisan investigation under the guise that it was an counterintelligence operation, I think people are going to be very concerned about that, and, and they should be. That kind of abuse of the law should not be allowed. President Trump has also told allies that the release of the memo could discredit the Russia probe. What could be in the memo that could possibly do that? Well, like I said, if, if in fact what started off this probe was an unverified, unconfirmed uh, dossier that was basically opposition research paid for by the, the, the Clinton campaign, uh, I, I think that might potentially say that the entire investigation was, was uh, started based on a fallacy. And that, in fact, could uh, raise a lot of questions about it. Okay. We'll be watching to see the developments in this. Hans Bond Spakovsky with the Heritage Foundation, thanks so much for talking with thanks us. Thanks for having me.